channel today we are finally decorating the breakfast nook we have an eat-in kitchen it's got like a small bump out basically that has a table where we sit and eat most of our meals so it's like our casual dining basically it's like open to the kitchen open to the living room so it definitely needs decor for Christmas as you can see behind me we have finished the living room decor I did that in two different videos because it was a lot. So I will link those below just in case you miss them, but we're gonna go ahead and tackle the breakfast room. I have a lot of good ideas. Hope you like this video, but let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and start with this side table that sits over on one wall in my breakfast room. I have this little arrangement that I made out of an ice bucket that normally sits over on my bookshelves in the living room. And then we're gonna add these Norman Rockwell prints that I got from Amazon this year. I absolutely love these. Norman Rockwell is my favorite artist of all time. And I don't know why I've never used his prints before in Christmas decorating, but we're doing it this year. Uh, but basically we're just going to decorate this and we're also going to use some practical things, even though they're pretty so that they're easy to grab from my kitchen. So that's what I like to use this table for. A lot of times I have cookbooks over here and decor, but today we're going to actually add in some holiday plates, chargers, placemats, things like that, but basically easy to grab and still pretty to look at. I got this set of steak knives as a gift one year for Christmas, and this is a really good place to keep them because they don't have like space in a drawer. These are like for fancy occasions. I have like everyday steak knives that we use for most meals, but for nice occasions, I break these out. So it's nice to have them over here and easily accessible along with a cake plate. And now we're gonna go ahead and add in all the plates and stuff from Christmas. I normally keep them in my china cabinet in the formal dining room, but I thought it would be fun to put them out and actually use them as display pieces. And then I can easily grab them when we wanna have our holiday meals.
I have this basket that usually holds fabric napkins, but I thought I wanted to put some pine cones in it and I don't have enough pine cones to fill the basket. So I'm using these placemats that I got from Dollar Tree this year and I thought it would be kind of a cool way to sort of fill the basket and still give like a Christmassy look with fabric. And then that can kind of peek through underneath the pine cones. This is a trick I've shared before, but I'd like to take my everyday florals and add in some berries and some greenery, sometimes some pine cones, to change them from like everyday spring, summer, whatever kind of look to a holiday look. This is a very easy way to change up your florals and save money. thought this mirror needed a little something so I have this little star wreath I guess it is um, and I'm just going to add some ribbon through the top here and just tack it over the top of this mirror the mirror is pretty heavy so I didn't want to like remove the mirror and attach it to the back of it but a little thumbtack will hold it in place and make it look nice for the season This is another one of my everyday florals that I went ahead and just added some berries, pine cones, and even a little red velvet ribbon to the base of it. And as you can see, it makes it look very Christmassy. I shared these wreaths with you guys in my Christmas haul video. I got these from at home this year, and I thought these would be perfect in my breakfast room on these chairs. I'm using my other small wreaths in the formal dining room. And so now I have wreaths for all of my chairs. This extra nine foot garland that I am going to cut in half. I want to use this for my chandelier. I thought it would be fun to do a garland around the chandelier and this is the perfect size to give me that green look and I can actually layer on top of it. So I'm going to take this and wrap this on the chandelier. In just a second I'm going to show you um, I have these I guess they're called like a garland tie. I honestly have no idea what they're called, but I got them from the Dollar Tree. They're just these little like pine looking um, strips on a wire. And I'm gonna use those to attach the garland to the light. I don't honestly know the purpose of these things. People use them in DIY crafts and to like fill out trees and things like that. That's the only thing I've ever seen them used for, but I thought that they would work really well to attach the garland to the lights. Now I'm gonna layer in some of this greenery. I've had this for years, it's from Hobby Lobby. They sell it all year round. I have no idea what this is called. It's almost like a fern or something, but it looks very pine and wintry to me. So I use it every year in my Christmas decor. I, and I have just cut it up over the years and I'm just gonna lay all the pieces across the garland and just uh, fill it out basically. And then I have this berry pick that I shared in my Christmas haul and it's so pretty it's like this frosted berry didn't need it but couldn't resist it but I thought it would be pretty to cut these and then lay them on top as well so giving it a little bit of red in the garland Last 
thing I'm going to add are these ornaments. They're crystal ornaments. I got them from Hobby Lobby this year. They came four to a pack and they were $2. And I thought these would be so pretty hanging from each one of the lights, almost like um, like a crystal chandelier, just giving it a little bit of glam. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. And I'm going to end up doing it in my formal dining room as well. I got two different kinds of ornaments. So the more like casual one is being used over here and the more formal one will be used in the formal dining room. So I felt like it was missing a little bit of lights. So I think I'm just going to use this corner real fast and add a couple of trees. This tree has like an LED light strip. I know next year I'm going to want to do more lights over in this area because the rest of my house is very lit with Christmas lights and this is just not enough. So expect a little bit different decor next year even. But the last thing we're going to do is make up our tablescape. This will not sit out for the whole season, but I thought it would be fun to show you how I will make up this table when it comes to probably Christmas breakfast or even Christmas Eve breakfast, just a casual meal. The formal meals will happen in the formal dining room, but anything casual can happen in here. So here's the breakfast room all finished. I absolutely love the way this turned out. It is so beautiful and so festive and it makes me so happy looking over here every day. It really blends in very well with the things I did in the living room and I am just so happy with how this turned out. I hope you love this video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you subscribe and turn on the notification bells. I will have several more decorating videos coming and I would love for you to join me. Thank you so much again, and I will see you guys in the next video.